Right, I'm, what the hell is that? I have no clue what that is on my shirt. Welcome back to Fabulix Makeup, and I'm gonna show you how to look like ratchet trash. I thought it was something that was going dry, but it has not dried yet. It's been a good 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna. Mm. I got all kinds of crazy stuff going on in front of me right now. I just need to mm, I just shove it on the ground because that's healthy. Welcome back, my baby loves. This is Happy Likes Makeup. Thanks for watching. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe. Join the Fab Fam because it's cool. Of course, if you were a returning Fab member, welcome back, my Fab Lovely. It's good to see y'all. So today, children, I'm going to be trying Fenty Beauty. So I got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And then I also got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation in the shade. Oh, honey. It's not the shade. 385. I believe that's my shade is 385. Now, y'all know Rihanna. If you don't know Rihanna, well, you know, she started out with the music and, you know, the prettiness and acting here and there. But I never would have thought of her going out for the makeup business i'm glad that she did because you know what it's a beautiful beautiful thing and i'm really glad that i finally got my hands on some of this but quite a turn for some of these celebrities these days to just do whatever all right y'all so this foundation has been out i think for two, almost two years now 2017 was around the time that this started becoming a thing and when she started promoting it but what i have right here is the soft matte foundation so according to the fenty beauty description it's pro filter soft matte longwear foundation is a foundation that gives the skin an instantly smooth finish with less visible and dull pores with less visible and dull pores and easily provides a medium or full coverage so that seems like you can be able to layer it so we'll see about that the oil-free formula is made with climate adaptive technology so i'm assuming it's can adapt to whatever you know part of the world that you're in whether it's wet dry clammy whatever it is that you have resistant to sweat and moisture uh you know summer's coming up so i'm, I'm about to try this because y'all i sweat and my makeup does not stay let me know sister and i'll let y'all know that this also does not clog pores so it's not gonna be bad for your skin long lasting texture light as air is undetectable on the skin now i'm gonna be doing some swatches of both the filter and the foundation i don't think the filter is really gonna show up i'm just gonna show you the consistency but i was gonna swatch it just to show you how it looks like on my skin tone i haven't swatched this since being in the store so i am curious to see how focused I was in the store been in there like maybe twice in my life and each time it was overwhelming so thankfully I was focused enough to get just the venti and that's actually just all I was going for so that's one in a lifetime thing so I better enjoy it usually when I'm doing a foundation review and testing out the formulas and see how they stay for me I usually have no primer on at all I just have my bare skin however since I am trying two Fenty Beauty products I figured I would give the primer a go and see how it feels on my bare skin because I am nicely cleaned except for the brows and a little bit of lash going on because I wasn't coming on camera without anything okay we ain't gonna be naked around here let's go ahead and swatch this I'm gonna start with the primer and this is the, I think this is like the travel mini size. This is not the full size one. The full size one is actually in 32 milliliters. This one is in 15 milliliters or half fluid ounce. And this one is 1.8 fluid ounces. So this one is basically just half. Got the same packaging as the foundation. Empty on the front as well. So what we got cooking with. Love a pump. I'm always a fan of a pump. That comes out really fast, pretty easily. See what it feels like. So it's got, well, I feel like a little bit will go a long way because that was just one pump. It feels really like buttery, kind of like a body butter. It doesn't have a smell at all, so it is definitely unscented, which is great. Something for everybody's skin. I would say it has a very light, no, no, I just need to rub it in. Never mind, it has no cast at all. So it'll actually just, looks like it'll just absorb right into the skin. Doesn't look like it has any kind of shimmer or glitter or sparkles, so it's gonna be nice and um, clear and matte. I'm soft matte, so this is actually gonna be dry matte rather than have any kind of luminescent or glow on it. Do some of this foundation. I don't know if I need to shake it. It says to shake well, so I might as well give it a little shake. Do what your mama told you. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a squirt. One pump. Looks like that's all we need for this, and that looks like it's gonna be a lot 
for just that. Already. Let's see what it do. So just one pump, that's gonna give you a whole lot of coverage. It seems like it blends out pretty well. Almost has, I'd say, a concealer-like texture or consistency rather than texture. Ooh, my brush is falling apart, y'all. As far as the color, I'd say it's a little bit tan, a little bit on the orangey tan side. But you know, for my face, it might be just enough because my arm does not match my face. I'll tell you that right now. Looks like it dries pretty fast as I'm sitting here. It looks like there's some spots that are thinner that are already pretty matte. Y'all know I like a soft matte to matte matte foundation finish on my face just because of my texture and just trying to reduce all of that and usually when I wear something luminescent or glowy it just seems to accentuate and bring all of that to life more than I want it to so I try to dull that down. Not stingy about primer but I just don't really ever use a primer and I know I don't know if that's good or bad I feel like it's just kind of a thing a personal thing. I don't personally feel like you need a primer every time you do your foundation but I also do a moisturizer and oil before, so there is a barrier between that and my makeup and my bare skin. I'll just preference on what you want on your skin before you put on your makeup. But it is always important to put on something before your makeup. That is a good When I do my primer, I put a little bit on the highest point into the face, so the cheekbones, a little dot on the nose, a little bit on the forehead, chin, and Cupid's bow. I'll put a little bit on the jawline. It's not the jawline, but this giant cheek area that I got. It feels really nice on the skin. I wouldn't say that it's exactly moisturizing, but it doesn't feel like it's drying. A lot of matte primers that I've used feel like they instantly suck the moisture out of your skin, and I can just feel like my skin is just getting tight, but not tightening in a nice, you know, aloe vera mask type of way, just tightening like, oh my gosh, I need water. So I'm making sure that's all nice and rubbed in. I am kind of freshly scrubbed, so I do have a little bit of tingling going on on the face, but it's not actually burning or even really steam. It's just kind of more like whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm going to call it. My sad sponge needs to be washed, so I'll be right back because it's darker than my face right now and it's actually supposed to be orange and that's really, really not okay. That's some realness for y'all right now because it's been a minute since I watched this. It's only been like a couple days, but still that's the color of my beauty blender. Uh, excuse me. Clue how many pumps I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with my foundation. Just a little bit of squirt on the highest parts of the face. Here, there, a little bit everywhere. See, I got some hyperpigmentation in this area I want to cover, some scarring, some darkness under the eyes, and just, you know, try to even out the skin tones. So it feels like it blends out really nicely for a little bit of product. So if you're just doing like a light day layer, just to get that skin to wake up. I'm gonna go on with a little bit heavier handed foundation. Okay, I feel like I'm getting some weird patchiness. The color match for my face is really nice and I feel like it's actually quite on point, but I'm feeling like there's streakiness going on or something. Also might be my sponge just being kind of weird, so I don't, oh damn, now I messed up my brow. Ooh child, things ain't gonna get easy. All right, so I've let this sit for just a little bit. Seems to be going on that soft matte feel, so I'm gonna go on with one more layer. I feel like that first layer was still pretty damn light. I feel like that second layer was a little bit more better demonstration of a first layer. So we're gonna go on with a second layer. I don't ever honestly do two layers of foundation because I don't normally need it, but it seems like today I need it. So I'm actually gonna switch to the NYX Professional Makeup Brush number four foundation brush and see if this changes. Oh yeah, that makes a big difference. So I guess if you're having trouble with the coverage, it might be the tool you're using. Didn't know that for this foundation. That also just might be for my skin type as well because I do have a drier skin. So you do want to make sure that it's all blended out before it sets all the way. 
because I feel like then it would be hard to blend it out because I've noticed that matte foundations are harder to blend out once they're dry. So normally for a foundation review I'll wear it for the rest of the day and then come back and show you what it looks like after wearing it for about five to eight hours. However, it is currently almost nine o'clock at night so um, the day is over and I'm not about to wear this for eight hours for the rest of the night. So what I'm going to do is this is what it looks like. This is how it's set for you know an application demo so then I will actually be back and I will show y'all what it'll look like after an eight hour day so we'll do a new face and a new demo so this is what we look like as far as the first go around and my first impression as far as overall use and feel it's a little bit more on the lightweight feel on that first layer second layer I started to feel that little bit more weight to the foundation putting on my face um, I still feel like my skin is breathing, so I don't think it is clogging the pores at all, which is good for me because when I do have clogged pores, I do tend to break out. As far as the coverage, I did notice that the Beauty Blender didn't seem to fare well with blending it out or even doing a whole lot of good coverage. However, a brush, I think this is a synthetic brush, not a real hair brush, but a synthetic brush that blended it out and made the coverage like almost... 50 to maybe 75 percent better definitely helped to cover things a little bit faster before the foundation decided to set as far as the wear we will see i will give my opinion for the end of this but so far i am liking uh the result the next day i have successfully worn this foundation for a good six hours almost about six and a half hours i mean i wasn't doing anything too strenuous so i can't really say if it was you know waterproof sweatproof all kind of stuff it was rainy today but i wasn't out in the rain for too long for it to you know do anything different see some separation around here i usually look for the separation and any kind of discoloration from my you know hyperpigmentation in that area so i do see some of that peeking through right here um but otherwise i do feel like the coverage is still there from this morning's application so I do like that I have preferred applying it with a brush rather than the sponge it just seems that the coverage and just the way that it blends out and applies to the skin at least on my skin which again is a little bit more textured and on the dry side so it seemed to spread out a lot better than using the beauty blender I didn't even use the beauty blender today for my foundation it's all brushed today don't mind the brows today y'all because I didn't do them all right so I believe that this retailed for $25 and this retails for $35. But more on the pricey side as far as the foundations go, but it seems like, you know, with the packaging, who it is, and all the extra effort that goes into it, they're going to put the price on it as, you know, how they will, whatever they want it to be. It did seem to smear on the face rather than um, glide and apply like it should as a foundation, so I would definitely and highly recommend that you moisturize your skin very thoroughly and just make sure that your skin is nice and hydrated before you apply this foundation because it is going to be a little bit more on the drying side than the moisturizing, luminescent, glowy side. Oily skin people, I think this would be a great product because I think it will absorb a lot of that oil so you'll have a lot of oil control. A lot of people that I've talked to did have more oily skin than dry skin so I, I definitely would recommend this for people with oily skin. For people with sensitive skin, I think this might be a good product as well. But then again, with it being a matte foundation, it's probably a toss-up for your own personal, you know, skin behavior. However, it doesn't have a scent, so I don't think it'll react to your skin at all. Um, and I feel like all the all the um, ingredients are pretty safe as well. That is my two cents on the foundation, y'all. I am rocking this for the first time today in the last about like 48 hours so I haven't gotten a solid opinion as far as you know how much I like it or not like it but as far as a trial run and you know working on it for the first time I do like how it sits and how it looks and how it stays just, that's just how I feel about it hope y'all got a little bit of info got a little something from this video if you did don't forget to thumbs up and if you're new don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to hit that notification button that little beautiful bell so you always know when I'm popping up in here it's to bless you with this mug I'm back I am so glad y'all are here and you're continuing with this journey with me I don't, I don't really know what else I was gonna say be all stay beautiful inside now and I will be back of course with more from Fabulex makeup. I'm hungry too. Louie, what are we gonna eat? What are we gonna eat? Don't you run away from me.